people out snow blowing. talk to you about home renovations. So we bought our house, it was right before a foreclosure, it was technically a short sale, but the bank was ready to foreclose. The guy who we bought it from owed twice what we were buying it for, and he left nothing. He took all of the outlet covers, he took all of the light fixtures, he took everything, all the appliances. We really had a blank slate when we moved in, and, or a trash pit is the other way to put it. Um, the bathroom, this is the master bathroom, and it was one of the worst bathrooms I've ever seen, other than the size. The size is pretty good for a house built in 1969. Um, it had a double vanity, which we have since updated, painted white. It used to be, you know, the classic dark wood, and it had some ugly marble top from the 70s. Um, we have a clean white look. Um, the biggest thing that we did, though, is we took the shower. The shower was about three feet by three foot. I could barely stand in it. It had a ceiling that was just over my head, and I don't know how I would have ever showered in it. And then right here, as you can see, there was, right here was a big linen closet shelf that was just a waste of space. So what we did is we blew that out, and we made the shower. I can stand up in it. Watch this. See that? I can touch the walls. It's, it's about six feet wide and three feet deep. We've got three shower heads. Um, it's like showering in a car wash. It's pretty awesome. Instead of tile, we put up um, Pro Rib. It's from Menards. It's a uh, uh, steel building roofing or siding that they use. And it, so it's made to keep water away. And so we, we thought it'd be kind of a cool look. And then we, you can see we extended the color onto the ceiling and the walls and the floor are perfect clean white. Um, this is just an example. This is one of the few rooms that is pretty much 100% finished. Um, we made it our goal for January of 2019 to finish the room and it didn't really take much. I put up a couple pieces of trim here along the edge of the shower and it mostly involved decluttering. Um, so I'll show you some before pictures of the bathroom, and this is the finished product. It's beautiful. second Sunday in a row. Happy four day weekend to me. Can you tell I haven't showered? Look at all my makeup. It's still on me. So today is the day we've been dreading. 54 degrees below zero with wind chill. What is that? It's going to be colder than anywhere else on earth in this greater Chicago area. Can you believe that? Coldest place on earth today. That's wild. So, what are we gonna do to take advantage of it? We're not gonna go outside. We are not gonna try to start our car. We're gonna blast the furnaces just in case something goes wrong. This morning we woke up to news that half the town was without power and tons of customers were without power in our, our area. Oh, that is the worst nightmare. Luckily we have two fireplaces that maybe we could keep burning for a while but we would need power back on first, and we better have natural gas to keep the house warm. Thankfully, we have two furnaces rather than the typical one um, to keep our house blowing, and they were a little bit oversized uh, because it's not that much more costly to get a slightly bigger furnace than what you need. Um, so our house is a toasty 74 degrees, but you can just feel the cold coming through the windows. Brr! Oh my, hope you're warm wherever you are, and we will be back with you in a couple days when the heat wave hits. Uh, going to be 40 over the weekend. Whoa, going to be flooding. Flooding after this freeze. Ha!
Is this how you're spending your cold day at 54 below? Yeah, doing laundry. You can feel it coming out of the laundry. That sounds like a good cold day strategy. Yeah, staying warm, doing laundry. You know it. Meet Elliot and Pearl. Elliot's the redhead, Pearl's the blonde. They're both from Target, and they sort of are the size and look of an American Girl doll, but a lot cheaper. Ice cream! I mean... Ice cream! I mean... Ada. Uh, Ada, I am... I, Ada. Ice cream! I mean... I'm here painting my daughter's closet doors. They've been up for four years and have yet to be painted, so I thought I would share this experience with you. The other closet doors that I painted didn't turn out so great. I think I used either too much or not enough paint. Um, and they're kind of tough. There's all these inlays, and the way that I do it is I just try to power through and spread the paint pretty thin. Um, but make sure that my roller has enough paint on it, because that's what leaves lines I found, is not having enough paint on your roller. So it's kind of a repetitive job. But you do it over and over. It'll probably take three to four coats of thinness. You can see the top has been painted down to where the square that I just put some paint on. Um, I'll let you know what the process looks like when it's done. It'll probably be next week. I was thinking about what it would be like to live on a boat, so I decided to do this to give myself the illusion that I was living on a boat. 